So Motobot again was a collaboration between Yamaha and SRI. Um, they came to us and saw that we had some interesting technology um, that they wanted to harness and, and be able to uh, further collaborate for some kind of development at, such as this. Uh, their, their main goal is to get some kind of safety technology out of the system. So whether that be um, an adaptive cruise control or a slip detection for a motorcycle or um, something novel that would be uh, helping them deploy on future motorcycles. Um, that was the, the intent. And from there, we're developing some really interesting, amazing technology here that hopefully will progress to that in the future. How long did it take for you all to create this motorbot? So this is, uh, this is our one-year project. Um, this system is our first design. We're currently on our second version. Um, so we were up and running in uh, less than six months, uh, fully tested in nine, and proven out the door in about a year. Uh, so it's very rapid. We're extremely fast-paced at SRI. Um, so we're constantly developing and, and, and pushing ourselves to, to make the technology come out the door faster. Who came up with the name Motobot? Uh, Motobot was a collaboration between Yamaha and SRI. So this is an autonomous motorbike and you are in the valley. Have you ever come across Google's self-driving car when you've been uh, driving around? Yes, uh, a few times actually. Google's self-driving car, uh, some of the Tesla cars that are fully autonomous as well. Um, there's a bunch of technology in the Bay Area and it's all amazing. It's uh, kind of a treat to see day to day. So when you see the Google self-driving car, what goes through your mind? Um, that hopefully we can uh, have some of that technology overlap into the current generation now. Um, I think one of the biggest challenges will be uh, augmenting all the non-autonomous cars in the near future. So there's hundreds of millions on the road that are not going to be autonomous at all. But um, if at one point we could adapt those with some kind of plug-and-play technology, uh, that would be quite amazing.